right, welcome back to Tasty Thursday. We have another excellent reading selection today. Today I've been reading Bread and Jam for Francis. Now this is a great book for some of you beginning readers. I used to love reading Francis books and if you're not familiar with Francis, she is an adorable little badger who has all sorts of adventures and and just general fun times. So today this book is Bread and Jam for Francis and it's all about how Francis loves to eat bread and jam. That's her favorite food. So today our recipe is going to be um, consisting of just bread and jam and it's going to be peanut butter and jelly sushi. Now if you know what sushi is, the real kind of sushi, it's raw fish. We're not making that because that's gross. Although I think some of, some of your moms like it. I don't happen to like it. So we only have three ingredients today for our peanut butter and jelly sushi. We need bread, we need our jelly, and we need peanut butter. So we're also going to need a rolling pin and a butter knife. So the first thing we're going to do is take one piece of bread and we're going to cut the crust off. And this is when you're going to use your butter knife. So you're just making a square. Okay, so put our crust to the side. And now we're going to take our rolling pin and make our bread really flat. We're going to roll it out just like that. And then I like to flip it over and roll it again the other way, just so it's nice and flat. Now I'm using um, regular sandwich bread. You could use wheat bread or nut bread or whatever kind you want. Just keep in mind that the more um, grains or nuts in it, that's going to make it a little more difficult to roll out but it's still tasty. Okay, so then we're going to take our peanut butter and we're going to put just a little bit of peanut butter, maybe about that much, and we're going to just spread it. Well, maybe a little bit more. I didn't get quite enough. I'm using crunchy peanut butter. If you're using creamy, you could probably use a little bit more. Um, the nut in the peanut butter add a little bit of extra depth. Okay, there's our peanut butter. So we're going to take our jam and put just a little bit of jam. Now you don't want to put too much jam because if you do, it's going to, when you, we're going to roll this up and if you put too much jam, it's going to come out the other side and won't stick together. Okay, put our lid back on our jam and now all you do is roll it up. So you're going to start at one side and just roll it over just like that. Okay, so now we have our peanut butter and jelly roll, but we're not done yet. Now we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut this into smaller pieces, just like that. And now if you've ever seen sushi either in a restaurant or in the grocery store, if you take your little peanut butter cuts and put them up like this on end. They look like little sushi rolls. We'll flip that one over so you can see the jelly. So stand them up just, well that one doesn't want to stand, we'll stand it up that way. Okay, so I'm going to go get a fancy plate and in the book Bread and Jam for Francis, I'll show you how she serves her lunch at school. This is how we're going to serve it at home today for our taste tester. You can see the picture. She has a little doily and a little vase of flowers. So that's how we're going to serve it today. It's going to be extra special. So it's time to go get our taste tester and see what he thinks of our peanut butter and jam sushi. Jam on biscuits, jam on toast, jam is the thing that I like most. Jam is sticky, jam is sweet, jam is tasty, jam's a treat. Raspberry, strawberry, gooseberry, I'm very 
Fond of Jim. Fond of Jim. Jam in the morning. Jam at noon. Bread and jam by the light of the moon. Jam for snacks and jam for meals. I know how a jam jar feels. Raspberry, strawberry, gooseberry. I'm very Fond of Jim, fond of Jim, fond of Jim, full of Jim. 